While admirable, charitable donations to and employee volunteering for good causes in the community do not impact the role the banks have played in discriminatory lending and therefore should not be considered in determining SPUR's discriminatory lending policy and investment practices. Wells Fargo executives participating in the April 10, 2013 SPUR's retirement board meeting told foreclosure and eviction fighters that they would be happy to meet to discuss how to resolve issues related to Wells Fargo's mortgage loans and urged us to talk with us early and often. However, when we emailed seven of these executives a week ago to take them up on their invitation to meet with us, not one of the Wells Fargo executives even replied to our email. Two of them we couldn't invite until Monday because it took that long to even find an email address for them, but they haven't replied either. This unresponsiveness is typical of how Wells Fargo treats its customers in foreclosure. At the April 10, 2013 meeting of the Spurs Retirement Board, Commissioners Stansbury, Makras, and Driscoll urged us to rely on legislators and regulators to handle the mortgage lending abuses of the banks. But each week we learn of new financial exposure that Spurs is facing from investing in predatory lending institutions. On Monday, New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman announced plans to sue Bank of America and Wells Fargo due to violations of the $26 billion national mortgage settlement brokered by the attorneys generals from 49 states. Since October of 2012, Mr. Schneiderman's office has documented 210 separate violations involving Wells Fargo and 129 involving Bank of America. Other state attorneys generals are engaging with the settlement monitor and considering, considering further lawsuits. Thank you. Larry? Uh, Mr. First Commissioner should support the Level 2 motion on discriminatory lending, not only because it is in line with the long-standing long first policy and will not damage and may increase the value of the fund to plan participants, 
but also because it simply requires first participa participation and cooperation with others in urging mortgage loan servicers to uphold the law in their lending practices. Amen. Thank you, Ricardo.